I never thought it would happen to me. So I've been diagnosed with melanoma twice. The first time I went to get my hair cut and there was a mole growing out of my head. I finally thought I'd just go to a dermatologist and get the mole removed. They did a biopsy and turns out it was stage three slash four cancer. They had to take out a, a four inch diameter chunk of my skin down to my skull. They had to do a skin graft on my leg and stitch it back on my head. They had to cut into my neck and take out eight lymph nodes. I, it took me about two months to recover from that surgery. I was 23. The second time I was diagnosed with melanoma, I was at work one day when I just suddenly had a seizure. When I went to the hospital, it turns out that I had melanoma in my brain. Not one, not two, about three large tumors and about 47 other small tumors. Really, I found out they basically gave up after they counted 50 tumors in my brain. I was originally given one year to live. There's a large variety of treatments that I've had to go through to be able to live approximately three years or so now. First, I had to take oral chemo, which made me break out in a rash all over my body. I wanted to sleep all day. I tried to go back to work and after four months, I was falling asleep at my desk. Basically, my career was over because of the necessary required treatment to keep me alive. When I looked for other options of treatment, that's when I found that there's new forms of treatment that were out there that would help prolong my life and let me have more time with family and friends.